subscribe to the Wake Man channel. We are back and headed to the lake this morning. This is Juneteenth. Got um, funny new holiday, but uh, hey, I'll take it. Um, so we have the rest of the week off here. We're gonna be on the lake or trying to go to the lake Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And sounds like I'll have a few friends out to shred with me um, uh, sometime in the next few days. Uh, so excited about that. Um, it looks pretty beautiful out right now, uh, but that's a little bit deceiving because yesterday in Billings, I think we only had like 55 as the high and it rained all day. Um, and so today it's, it's pretty, ch it's a pretty chilly morning. Um, it's only 53 degrees right now. And I think it's only supposed to be up to like mid to high sixties by the time we get to noon. Um, but yeah, we're going to go make the best of it here. It was very fitting that it was a gloomy day yesterday. Um, and the gloomiest day in June because I did receive some really sad news. A good friend of mine for a lot of years, he was in my wedding, um, his name's Bernie. He, uh, he's been fighting cancer for the last five years and uh, I got the call from his wife that uh, they're deciding to stop chemo um, and they're looking at hospice options. Um, and he's just not doing well. Uh, so it was, it was a really sad day and uh, it's still on my mind a lot right now. Uh, we plan to go we went and visited him yesterday and we plan to go visit him uh, again this weekend um but yeah it's that's one of those it's one of those things it's it's uh i, I i'm feel, feeling pretty down about that but we uh we're gonna we're gonna try to have some fun anyways um and uh and try to try to live in the moment because i think that's the best thing that you can do um with with life in general so anyways we're gonna get to the lake here soon uh, and get out on the water Oh, I've got some good news. Look at that. It is absolute butter out there. Looks amazing. It's gonna be chilly, so it's nice that it's at least smooth out there. Um, yeah, about my friend, uh, I am doing a fundraiser to try to help him out. So if you're interested in checking that out, I'll leave a link down in the description. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, we're gonna get launched here and Get on that glassy water. All right, we're launched. Got this be the girl here with me. <laughs> and uh, man, uh, this is gonna be a chilly set today. It is only 60 degrees in the water. That's 10 degrees colder than it was the last time I rode. Um, I didn't quite expect that. I mean, I know it was kind of chilly yesterday, but man, that's, that's pretty cold water uh, for, for June. Um, but either way, it's doable. Uh, I think my kind of limit on uh, oh, some sun in there. my I think my limit on uh, you know what temperatures I can ride in is right around 100. I've done I've done you know I think pretty close to 100 degrees air and water temperature combined. Um, so with it being calm out, full sun, um, that's 120 degrees, well within my range. It's just gonna be a little chilly, um, but doable. Uh, so I'm gonna have some fun here. I may just only wakeboard today because um, I have uh, three day, three more days and I know I'll be doing a lot of surfing and stuff with, uh, with my friends get out here. So uh, I may just wakeboard today, we'll see. Um, anyways, they are walking down here right now. Uh, man, it's a beautiful day today. Just love seeing it when it's just glassy. Look at that, look at the cliffs over there. It's just acting like a mirror pretty cool all right i'm gonna go pick these guys up oh something while i'm going to get these guys something i forgot to say is the water is up another three feet i think more than that um we are only about uh i think it's four feet from full pool um it usually gets a few more feet uh deeper than that but uh 
you can see uh, if you watched my video last week there's that rock and now if I was to stand on the dock I'd be my head would be a healthy three feet over top of that you can kind of see where the dock is compared to that um, you can see those guys standing on the on the edge of the concrete on the ramp right now and you can see that it's it's definitely up further now um, so yeah it really only has four more feet to be full pool or what they consider full pool um, but uh, it usually like I said usually gets a few feet beyond that this this uh, kind of peninsula right here uh, goes out to here that when it's when it stops coming up usually that entire thing's covered and it's actually kind of crappy because uh, people don't come here often don't realize that even though there's a buoy right there I've I've uh, watched people back right into that right into those rocks before because you can't see them they're covered with water um, when it's full and you can see when the water's at the edge of the concrete that's over top of this so uh, anyways gonna go pick them up I got a small set. Um, it was super glassy for the beginning of it. Uh, I went down that direction for quite a ways. Um, I'd say probably two thirds of my normal lane, which is probably, I don't know, 25 minutes or so. And then I uh, started coming back up this way. Uh, and when we got kind of close to back to where we started, um, it started getting chopped up as you can see um not crazy windy or anything it's just uh just more than i like to wakeboard on uh but yeah it was it's definitely chilly out here today um it was uh def, you know like i wasn't cold when i was riding but uh de definitely the water was uh chilly like just even having my hands in it and stuff i was getting acclimated but uh it was super hard to uh to get warmed up like i didn't feel like i could kind of get into my set because it was I was kind of staying stiff and, and cold. So uh, check out this, uh, looks like almost a full tree right here. It probably is, because it doesn't really look like it's moving. So it might be big enough to where it's dragging on the bottom and kind of anchoring itself. But yeah, that might be that might be all we do on the water today. I'm not sure. So um, we're just kind of hanging out right now. Um, we'll probably load up here in a little bit and head back to the shop. But yeah, more days to come out here on the water. So we'll see you in the next clip. Damn, we just about, Float, uh, floated right into that tree right there. Oh, that's crazy. I was just talking about that tree and it was a ways away. It's definitely, that thing's gotta be, it says 15 and a half feet right now below the boat. So that's gotta be about 17 feet tall. Is it like this way, Crazy, we about hit it. Just floated into it, not anything crazy, but I got out of the way just in time. Well, good morning. It is the next day. Um, we had a pretty relaxed afternoon yesterday, uh, but really didn't do too much. Uh, we are back out here at the lake. This is June 20th, the first day of summer. Woohoo! Um, already been at it for a month. I always consider kind of Memorial Day as sort of the kickoff to summer for me. Uh, but as far as the calendar goes, today is official. Today is the first official day of summer. Um, so uh, that's cool, but. Uh, that is not, uh, you can see the tree blowing a little bit here. It's a bit windy out, definitely too windy looking out here to wakeboard. Um, and it is chilly. You can see I've got a hoodie on. Uh, it's supposed to be warmer today than it was yesterday. It got up to like 75 yesterday in the middle of the day. It's supposed to be 80 today. Um, you never know, this could calm down. We're gonna go check out the spot. We're gonna launch anyways. Um, Cause it's not too crazy windy to get out there. It's just, uh, too windy to wakeboard out here sometimes it's nice out at the spot even when it looks like this in here um and uh sometimes it calms down um kind of like yesterday morning uh we were here a little bit later and it and it might have been like this but then it calmed down um i don't know uh when we were when we were here on saturday i think it was it was like it looked like it had been like this but then it calmed down so and it looks like the sun's starting to creep through a little bit more as you can see it's kind of like an overcast but uh there's a lot of blue sky this way so anyways we're gonna get launched here um and just go check it out 
Uh, if nothing else, I think I am gonna surf, unless it gets uh, a lot crazier uh, with the wind. Um, so at least do something. I haven't done a whole lot of surfing this year. I think I only surfed once, because I've been trying to work on the foil. Um, so if nothing else, I'll surf. And we do have friends coming down tonight to hang out with us tomorrow on the lake. So really hope tomorrow is nice and smooth. Um, I would be okay with today being uh, crappy if tomorrow was great. So anyways, we're gonna get out there. All right, well, it calmed right down. As you can probably tell, my wakeboard set, it was pretty good. Um, I stopped a little early, uh, earlier than I normally would because I was starting to get a little tired and I didn't want to destroy myself before tomorrow because I want to try to give myself a chance to have a good wakeboard set tomorrow when my friends are here. Yeah, and as you can see right now, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty calm out here, um, so yeah, I was able. I did. I did a little surfing. Hadn't surfed for a long time, and I was uh, pretty happy. I got a kind of a cool little alley oop. I did. It was almost like a backside 180 stall um, on it. But uh, yeah, we're about to get off the water here. Um, so I might do a little filming later on today. Maybe when my friends show up, something like that. Um, but otherwise, you might just see us uh, launching tomorrow morning or or something to that effect. But anyways, we'll uh, see you soon in the next clip. All right, it's the next morning here. Got the boys. Get the crew. <laughs> uh, so yeah, my friends made it up. Um, we're uh, heading to the lake right now to go shred. Uh, Carly and Wakely and Kendra are in the car behind us, or, or not right behind us, but uh, gonna be right behind us. So yeah, uh, it uh, it rained a little this morning, which I knew it would just come through quick, but uh, I'm a little worried about uh, this uh, clay mine thing here plant because uh, sometimes it gets all over the boat but anyways it looks calm out um, it's supposed to be a little warmer today than it was yesterday the water should be a little more warm uh, so yeah looking forward to a really good day today we'll probably spend a good amount of time on the water today so yeah we'll catch you at the water
Juneteenth trip. Um, so this is Saturday. Uh, look, we got some glassy water. Pretty happy about that. Man, had a really great day yesterday. Um, it's always a good time when I have those guys out with me. Um, we just do a lot of shredding. Uh, we had great water, so it all worked out well. Um, I'm gonna get the boat on. All right, now that I'm launched here. Yesterday was a great day. We just had we had really smooth water uh, for all of our wakeboarding. Um, I dropped off Carly. I dropped off uh, Carly and the kids uh, after we were all done wakeboarding around one o'clock. Um, just kind of help out. It's hard hard to have the baby on the boat all day long. We can do it. It just makes things harder. Um, but then we continued to surf for a while. Had some fun on uh, my buddy Daniel's new surfboard. Um, the traction pad is the front traction pad was put on in the wrong place, so that was a little weird. Um, <laughs> and uh, Ellery's down here telling you guys what's going on too um, but anyways yeah it was just a just a great time those guys are always a great time out here and it's always just you know amazing when we get good water too because then we can just work on stuff um, I was uh, I was okay okay I was working hard on uh, my melon melon grab three which I got a little one this weekend but uh, 
and I was able to grab it and, and turn it many times that I was wrecking. Um, I had a lot of fun with that. I uh, I really ate it pretty hard on a on a 540 attempt, um, and it really stretched. I think it pulled one of my ab muscles, so and it still hurts today. Um, not as bad, but anyways, after that I took another set, and I was uh, and I was working on some. I was working on my threes, and then I and then I was gonna then I went for my crow a few times, um, and it, the first attempt I had on my crow, um, my scarecrow, actually was good. <clears throat> and then I went for it again. The second one was crappy, but <clears throat> I would have kept uh, going for it. I think I would get it. Um, and that's at my normal speed. Last year I did it at my practice speed, so I really I got that trick and then did it tw again at my practice speed. Um, but I, I, I need to get it at my normal speed and get it to be one of my uh, normal tricks. So that's what I'm going to work on this year, and then hopefully I'll get a new trick beyond that this year. Uh, but anyways, uh, my my ab muscle was really hurting, um, so. I mean, it was it was so bad that like I I surfed after that, and I I was having problems just lifting my knees to get my feet up on the board. Um, once I was up, standing up wasn't too bad. But anyways, I could also tell when I had a good time because uh, I get a lot of water in my nose and I get lake nose really bad. So I've got lake nose really bad right now, and my nose was super stuffy overnight last night. Um, but anyways, it's all it's all good. It was a great time, great time to have those guys out. Um, I probably would have done some filming last night, but we, we got back and ate dinner really quickly and then they took off and then we went to a movie. We took Wakely to that new IF movie, um, which was fun. Uh, the local theater here in Lovell um, has super good deals. It only costs 15 bucks for the three of us to, to go and then it was only 15 bucks for pretty much all the concessions we wanted. We got popcorn, soda, she got a kid pack, um, we got candy as well, so, so it's, it's a super great deal. Um, so, I, so we like to go there uh, while we're here in the summer uh, once or twice, maybe even more. Anyways, it's just been a good good weekend. Um, so today is, I think it's going to be, I might try my crow a few more times just to see how I feel. Um, I'm happy I broke the ice with it because I you know, kind of had a little bit of a mental block early in the year. Um, but I finally broke the ice of trying it. So I'll, I might I might try to get that today. Um, I might just have a smooth set because my ab, I don't want to mess up my ab muscle. Um, and then I might surf, I'm not sure. but. So I'll see what we can get done. I'll see you on the water. Back at the shop, all done with our our Juneteenth trip. Um, we're uh, I just disconnected the boat. We're just kind of packing up, getting ready to go. I need to top the boat off with fuel, um, and uh, I need to clean it. I need to cleaning pretty good. Um, I actually we used about 75% of the fuel yesterday. Um, so after I filled up. Yesterday, I measured with my little measuring stick, and here's the top of the tank. I think it was down to about here. Um, so I, I think I'll, I'll probably use like a few inches, um, and then I'll, I'll probably even have enough left to almost fill the whole, fill the whole boat. Um, so that worked out pretty good because we left the truck here, didn't bring any new fuel down uh, this last time. Um, but yeah, next. Now I'll need to bring some more fuel down for next weekend. Um, and then the weekend after that, I'm pretty sure it's the July 4th weekend and we're gonna, that's gonna be a three boating day trip because we'll come down Wednesday night before 
July 4th on the, that Thursday. And yeah, I think it's possible. We may have some friends out uh, one of those days or maybe even a few of those days. So, um, so yeah, it'll, it'll help to kind of get a little more fuel storage going. But yeah, so far, so far that fuel tank is definitely saving me money because this trip alone, I probably would have had to fill up uh, maybe a whole tank's worth at the, the local gas station here. And the local gas station here um, for mid-grade or 89 octane, which this boat requires, uh, I'm pretty sure it's about 50 cents a gallon more expensive than in Billings. Um, so 65 gallons, that's a, that's at least, you know, 30, that's 35, $32 or so that I've saved so far. Um, so at least I'm making a little bit of money back on, uh, you know, paying to get this fuel tank ready. Um, and uh, I think over time, you know, cause we have more of those trips coming up or where I can kind of stock up and then use it. Um, so I think over time, it's really gonna, really gonna add up and, and become a huge benefit. Um, and it's just super, super convenient. I think just for the convenience, I would do it because, uh, you know, just the fact that I can pull my boat back to its home, you know, here at the shop, and then just grab the hose, pull it over here, and it, and it fills up really quick. Um, I think that's just a huge convenience. Um, probably the only thing that the only probably the only thing that i could maybe make a little bit better is um you know i gravity i gravity drain it out of the out of the tank in the back of my truck right now um obviously that could go a little quicker um but so far i don't mind uh it does take a little while uh because it just you know it's just kind of like a almost a drizzle um but i don't mind it because then it's a little more controllable uh, i can kind of set it and forget it for a while if i don't forget it too long and then have a spill like i had uh, but anyways, you know, I could put some sort of little pump on there, uh, in the line, uh, and that would definitely help, uh, make it go quicker, but I like it the way it is, so I'm okay with it. But anyways, I'm just going to get things packed up, clean the boat, um, then we're going to get out of here and be done for this week. As you saw at the end of the wakeboard clips there and, and, uh, just water clips in general, um, I did, I did, uh, try a couple more scarecrows um, and uh, I was really close on both of them uh, and, I, and I, I tried to land the second one but I think I didn't stick my back foot down hard enough uh, so I kind of tipped over and I think I overcooked it a little bit kind of overspun it or over flipped it um, but that's kind of good because I you know one of the new tricks I want to try to get this year is uh, is just a front roll a straight front roll which is actually harder than a scarecrow um, and if I'm overcooking my scarecrows uh, that that means I have a good chance of uh, landing a, a front roll because you kind of need to over over rotate a little bit for a for a front roll so um, but yeah that's just an idea and then I did a little bit of foiling um, just because I, I I hurt my I hurt my ab muscle again on that last curl um, and it kind of smacked me back uh, kind of hit my head and, and whatnot so it kind of I decided to stop after that because it kind of it kind of got me good you know that happens with like boarding get you get uh, get smoked here and there. I decided to do a more chill um, foil set after that. Um, and as you could see, it was another beautiful day. I mean, it's still super beautiful out. I mean, it's it's a uh, nice and calm blue sky, nice and hot. Um, man, it's it's crazy. I was telling I was telling my wife that uh, this this week, uh, even though it's mid June, it has it's felt like August, um, which is my favorite time. You know, it's usually when lake's pretty full, things are settled down. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot calmer out, water's warmer. That's the one thing, the water temperature has been a little bit cold. It's still kind of rolling in the 60s each morning. Um, but that was, you know, I'm used to wearing a wetsuit, so that, was, that hasn't bothered, bothered me much. But, uh, but yeah, it was a great week. So anyways, that's it for this video. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any thoughts on this video or ideas for future videos, please leave those in the comments below. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and click on that notification bell so you can be notified of my future videos. I'll see you next week.